In this video, I will show you how you can install Stable Diffusion 1.5 on your Windows machine. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome. Today we'll look at installing Stable Diffusion 1.5 on a Windows machine. A number of steps will follow. I'll keep it simple. The very first thing you need to do is to go to python.org. This is the website that you need to follow in order to install Python 3.10.6. This is the link. It's a 64-bit and you click on it, you download it obviously, you start installing, click on the install now, make sure you add Python uh, to path. This is a very important check that you need to do. And uh, just wait for a few seconds. As soon as this completes, we are going to uh, simply close this window and proceed to the next step. Uh, step Number two is to install Git for Windows. It's another application that you visit the page, gitwindows.org, and click on the download button for Windows. Once it's in, uh, downloaded, make sure you start installation. You can uh, really go next, next on all these uh, different uh, customizations, especially if you're new to Git, you're not 100% uh, sure what you're doing, I suggest proceed to the next page and keeping the defaults uh, checked. Um, once you hit the very last uh, screen here, it's going to install on your machine and you would be able to simply finish the installation. Now, number three is important. You need to download what is called as automatic 1111 and this is a web service that you uh, get to by going to the page link is in the uh, description below make sure you copy this command line git clone with the specific url and what you have to do is basically go to your machine create a new folder i like to call it ai for artificial intelligence and then uh, what you have to do simply is uh, click inside here, right click, and go to open in terminal. Once you're inside this folder, make sure you paste the command that you just copied and let it clone. What it is doing essentially is downloading all the necessary files from the uh, hub repository into your uh, particular uh, C drive under the AI folder. So now if I go there, you see there is a subfolder called sub Stable Diffusion Web UI. This is where all the files have been downloaded. Particularly under the models, there is a folder called Stable Diffusion. And this it takes us to step four, and that is to download the model. In order to do that, you will need to log in or sign up for Hugging, uh, Hugging Face if you don't have an account simply create one it's pretty straightforward make sure you check the uh, the terms and conditions and bypass the human verification as soon as you're logged in uh, what you have to do is uh, reload the page which has the stable diff diffusion uh, version 1.5 uh, go there under the pruned ema only ckpt this is the model you need to download. Hit the download button right here and let it take its time. It's close to uh, five gigabytes of a uh, file size. So we're just gonna wait on this. And as soon as it gets downloaded, I'm going to uh, open the folder into my download folder. I'm gonna cut or copy this particular file. This is the model file. I'm going to navigate to my C drive, AI, Stable Diffusion, then go to Models, then go to Stable Diffusion folder and paste the file in there. Perfect. Next, what I need to do is essentially go to the uh, Stable Diffusion folder and look for the web UI user.bat file. I'm supposed to open this file or run it. But before doing that, I'm going to edit this file. It's simply a batch file. Uh, essentially, I need to add the path to the Python. Uh, and to do that, I need to search for the Python uh, 
application on my machine, then I need to right click and say open uh, file location and then right click again and I need to copy uh, as path. This is the path to the file python.exe. So notice what happened here. I made a mistake. This is not what you're supposed to copy. If you find the path ending with dot lnk, it means this is a link. This is not an exe file. So again, that was a mistake I did. So I'm going to redo it again in front of you. Looking for Python app. I'm going again to um, simply right click. I'm going again to search for Python app then open file location. Then from here, I'm going to say open file location again. Only now I'm really in the right path, which is local programs Python. And I'm going to copy the path from here. Now, if I go and paste it in this batch file, you see it's looking at python.exe. So this is the correct file that needs to be in the path. I'm going to save the batch file and I'm going to run it. Now, notice what happened. I got into an error. The error basically complains about installation of Torch and Torch Vision. And if I look at the V environment, I notice that it's looking for a python.exe in a different folder. This is not the folder it's supposed to uh, locate the python.exe file. So again, I ran into this issue and I'm kind of demoing it for you so that you don't have to uh, struggle and uh, go through uh, loops and hoops to find the solution. Um, so what I ended up finding out in this regards to solve this issue was simply to go to this folder, which is in stable diffusion, locate the in v environment folder, look at the scripts. You see there is a Python and a Python W uh, applications there. You just need to remove them. So I'm going to cut them out. You can even delete them. But for my sake, I just removed them from the folder. And then simply, I went again and clicked on the web UI dash bat uh, dash user dot bat and I let it wait. This process is definitely going to take some time. So I suggest you go get yourself a cup of coffee or just watch a series or something. It might take up to half an hour if your PC is a little bit slow. I'm going to fast forward. As you can see, everything is getting installed on my machine and it generates this URL uh, batch of IP address and a port. And then you have to select the model from the stable diffusion checkpoint. Then you can search for anything you want, generate it. I start with frog on eggs. Just wanted to see if it's working. Obviously, there's no egg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it and say 100 eggs. Is that going to work out? Well, maybe not 100, but a couple of dozens. Um, now you can add negative prompts. For example, I don't want it to have one eye. It looks deformed. This looks better, but again, no eggs in this case. Um, of course, this is uh, based on trial and error. We have to try different things. So I'm going to have obviously many, many other videos where I will talk in details about stable diffusion 1.5, 2.0 and 2.1 and also what's coming up after. Um, obviously, this is really a fun application if you have it on your PC because it's free. You can do whatever you want with it. And uh, remember, you could even if you have good GPU uh, RAM, you could actually uh, increase the resolution and try to get even higher resolutions than just 512. And you can get uh, good results. For example, here, it's a bit abstract, but you can search for things like uh, a superhero or something. Go wild and we will go with more experimentation in the next few episodes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I need to reach a high number of subscribers and I'm looking for you to help me out. And um, 
leave a comment for me on what you would like to see in terms of stable diffusion experimentation. I will also be having a special video about Dream Booth. This is a pretty nice extension to uh, stable diffusion that allows you to train uh, models. Basically, you can take photos of yourself uh, in multiple angles, and then you can uh, use Dream Booth to create your own model and then you can l use that model to create images and graphics where you are the center of attention. I hope you liked today's video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.